Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Smar19. So in today's video, we are going to do a tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to set up the game, set up the editor, set up the spin mod, get everything up and running so you're ready to go. Uh, but before we start, let me just say that in the last month or so, I have been telling everybody that I'm done with Mud Runner, I'm done with map making, I'm especially done with tutorials. I haven't done tutorials in so long. Um, but in just the last few days, I have built and released the map. I'm back playing Mud Runner. I'm actually working on another map, which will be my 20th Steam release. And here we are. We're doing my very first tutorial since relaunching my YouTube. <laughs> so I have completely broke all of my rules in the last few days. But you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> this friggin' game, I just can't stay away from it. I don't understand it. But anyway, let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into this. So I get a really good friend over the past few days has been asking me a lot of mapping questions. And that's the reason I kind of figured, why not? Let's let's get this tutorial series going again. Uh, one of his first questions was, where is the editor? And I forget that if you're new to all of this, it, it can be tricky. It's, it's, it's very easy to find, but if you don't know, I guess you don't know, you know? Uh, so I'm going to treat this video as if I'm a complete noob and I'm trying to learn everything for the first time. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need the editor. Uh, I'm going to assume you already have the game downloaded. Uh, so to find the editor, you want to open up Steam and go to Library Home. And if you scroll down to Mud Runner, you'll notice there's, no, there's no, nothing else around it. So the editor should be right here. And to get the editor, you just come up here where it says Games, and you want to check mark Tools. And then when you come back down, you'll see the editor is right here. So you just want to click on it, and you should have an Install button right there. Go ahead and install it. And the next thing you're going to need is, it's very important if you're going to do some map making, is you want these two folders on your desktop. So let's get these on the desktop real quick. Uh, so these are the, the directories to each, each the game directory and the editor directory. So to get them, we want to jump out back into Steam, Library, Home, and you can click either one, it don't really matter, just right click, hit Manage, and Browse Local Files. Once you do that, you'll see mine just open right here, so this is the game directory. But we just want to hit this up arrow key once until we see this folder. So you got Mud Runner, Mud Runner Editor. All you want to do is right click, show more options, and create a shortcut. And do the same thing with the editor. Show more options, create a shortcut. And they both should pop here with this little arrow next to it. That's your shortcut folders. You just want to highlight both of them and drag and drop them out to your desktop. Not the real folders. Make sure you copy the two shortcuts that you just made and go ahead and put them. So you should look just like this right now. Uh, the next thing you're gonna want is you're gonna want the spin mod. This is very important. This is the best tool you can have when it comes to Mud Runner. So to get this, you wanna look down in the description of this video, I'll have it linked. Uh, it'll just say spin mod. It's the only one working that I know of and hopefully it works for you too. I know it's been giving some people some problems, but uh, I have no problem with it. It's been working great for me. So in the description, go ahead and pause the video, download the, download the file, and when you do, you should have this folder right here, spin mod. So you just want to open that up, and I just would grab the folder right here and drag it out to the desktop. Close that, bring this over. You can uh, delete the zip folder if you want, so we'll do that right now, and all you really need is this. So go ahead and open that up. And when you do, you'll see Spin Tires Mod Install. Just go ahead and double click this and then just install it like you normally would install anything. Uh, I'm not going to do it. I already have it installed, but just double click it, let it run its course, and just hit install. Make sure you create a desktop shortcut so you have this on your desktop. And we can close this. We're going to come back in just a second. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to do it right now. So once you're all installed, you want to open up your Mud Runner directory, the games directory. Slide this over. 
open up this folder that's within the download and go ahead and copy both of these and drag and drop them. And when you do, make sure it says move to Mud Runner like so. You don't want to go hover over a, a folder and it says copy because it'll go into that folder and we don't want that. So just make sure it says move to Mud Runner and just drop it right in this area. And it'll say uh, copy and replace or replace. Go ahead and do that. And before you move on to the next step, let's quickly make sure that the spin mod is set up correctly so we want to I was gonna say to open your game but you can't so open up your mud runner uh, spin mod and it should look like this you might not see editor and you might not see mud runner yet because we have to set it up you might actually even see snow runner right here so right along this line right here right above the picture it should say all the games like mud runner snow runner uh, all that just make sure mud runner is highlighted and then hit mod settings once this is set up, you want to push this button right here. Mine says uninstall, so I'm not going to push it. Yours should say install. So just click that. And on the first line, you want to find your games directory. Mine's in the C drive, program 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Mud Runner. Just highlight the folder and then move down to the next line. Hit install or hit OK, whatever it says, just so it appears right here. And then push this one and do the same thing with your editor which should be right in the same location as your game. So go ahead and make sure both of them say uninstall, and that means they're installed, and just hit apply and hit OK. I'm gonna hit cancel because it's already installed for me. And now yours should look just like this. And really quick, let's make sure the spin mod is working correctly for you. So just go ahead and hit Mud Runner, and my screen will probably go black real quick on you guys but you should see it now. And just to make sure that the spin mod is working correctly, you wanna hit settings. And as long as you see this right here, advanced settings, you're good to go. You got the spin mod all working. So just hit okay. And we're gonna exit out. I'll wait for the, the black screen. Okay, so if everything's working for you and all of these steps and you have no problems yet, uh, now we wanna open up the editor. So go ahead and click on the editor. And once you have the spin mod installed, you never have to push these two buttons again. So just go ahead and push the editor. Okay, so once the editor is open, the, the first thing you need to do is go up to settings and paths. And then on this line, you're gonna wanna find your game directory. Uh, mine, I'll go right up to the top. It's on my C drive, program 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Mud Runner. So you just want to highlight the Mud Runner folder and push OK. And then you should see the uh, directory right here. And then just go ahead and push Install Game Media. And it's going to do a little, you'll see a little bar loading up. And then once that's finished, just hit OK. I'm going to close it because I don't need to. And once you do that, you should see this, Mods, Pre-Build, Meshes, Classes. You should be all ready to go. Uh, as you can see, if I push this little plus key, that's everything I have installed, maps, mods. And in the next video, we're going to take it to that step. I'm going to teach you guys how to start a map, how to get a map going, and all of that stuff. So I'm going to close this. And that is going to do it for this video. That's how you get everything installed. Everything should be set up, ready to go. Uh, if you guys stick around, stay tuned for video number two, tutorial two. We're going to go into the editor. And I'm going to show you guys how I start a map, how I get a map going, and all of that good stuff. And we'll, we'll, we'll take it from there. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope this helped you out. I hope it's everything's working for you. If you have any issues, comment down below. Maybe I can try to help. Uh, I'll do my best to help you out, actually. But... Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you guys again real soon. They say that I've lost it. But talk me down. And I swear it's going to cost you. Now I'm back. The boss of you, Mona.